have you made a stand about something you believe in? Uh, get in touch with us this morning, 0808 100 1049 is the number to call. We'd love to hear from you. Um, we're sticking with that theme this morning because the Atherston Hunt, okay, which hunts over parts of Leicestershire and Warwickshire and Staffordshire, um, they've said that it's stopping hunting for the rest of the season, which comes as a bit of an unusual move. Now, according to the West Midland Saboteurs, it's because of their continued campaign to stop the hunting of foxes. Cathy Scott is their spokesperson. So basically over the last sort of uh, six years, um, we have regularly attended Aberston Hunt Meet. Um, we've regularly filmed them. Um, we've obviously exposed using social media all of all of the sort of um, antics that happens within fox hunting. And basically, we've attended all the meets of the Addison. And basically, we've just exposed uh, what fox hunting is about over the last six years with the Addison hunt. What's your definition of a saboteur? A saboteur is somebody who is compassionate is somebody that believes that hunting for sport is wrong. It doesn't matter about laws, whether it's legal or illegal. Hunting for sport is wrong. A hunt saboteur believes that using non-confrontational, peaceful methods at all costs, we should need to try and save that life of that hunted animal using peaceful methods. We always welcome journalists to join us. We always welcome the general public to come along and see what we do. We're also heavily filmed by their side as well, so, you know, we put up our version of events. These things can get quite nasty sometimes. Why put yourself through it, Katha? Because it's the right thing to do, and it, like you say, it is nasty. It is a nasty thing at times to see. To see a hunted, to see a sentient being being ripped apart for sport, that's what drives you, because if people don't stand up and say that this is wrong, and if people don't stand up and say in the society we live in, we find this morally uh, unacceptable, then, you know, that you, that you have to fight, don't you? And basically we do it because it's the right thing to do when we're trying to stop suffering and to get blood sports ended once and for all and consigned completely to the history book. So the hunt, they've denied that it's your involvement. What, what would your response be to that? We would say that over the last, Six years since we've been uh, with the Anderson Hunt, we've seen the court numbers drop. Um, how come that they're at this stage now? If they're saying that we've got nothing to do with it. Cathy Scott there, the spokesperson for the West Midlands Saboteurs. So Polly Portwin is from the Countryside Alliance. She answered some of those claims on behalf of the Atherston Hunt. The hunt hasn't actually closed, first of all. The hunt has temporarily suspended hunting for this season and um, it's looking into making other arrangements for the future. Now that could be by the form of amalgamating with another pack or sharing their kennels. I don't think it's been closed, it really hasn't. This is not the end of the Atherston. Is this because of the anti-hunt activity? Not at all, no. Um, they, of course, they'd like to make you think that, but it's not at all that. There's a lot of factors internally which um, can't be discussed for various reasons ongoing. I mean, you look at the roads and railways and development, that's another factor with, you know, a lot of hunts have problems or they're facing problems with the way that um, things are developing. And they have to look at their country and their viability. And there are a number of packs in a similar position. And it's perfectly normal and it's, you know, it's something that we've all got to look ahead to and think, you know, is it right in the modern world to have this number of hunts and there may be fewer, but it doesn't mean they're not going to be as strong or as robust. It's still massive support for those hunts in those areas. Countryside Alliance have said that, that numbers are going down slightly. I mean, does anti-hunt activity add to that for, for, for all hunts? Um, it's something else that we just deal with. It's no different to, you know, we have to face the fact we've got uh, changes to the hunting laws, you know, with the hunting act in. We just have to adapt to things. You know, people have a right to protest. We object to the way some of these people protest. The fact is, we just, we're used to it, we deal with it, and it, you know, there are very, very few of them. Um, and we've got nearly 200 packs of hounds that go out day in, day out, four days a week, some packs, and they're not, you know, we don't have problems with anti. There's literally a handful of them. But they're very vocal on social media. So, will the Atherston Hunt be back next year? We hope they'll be back. I'm not saying in which form it may be, but um, you know we're keeping those hounds. They're being drafted to other kennels to make sure we maintain the important bloodlines that have been bred for hundreds of years. 
And um, yeah, in some form, we hope there'll be an Aston in, in somewhere next season. We're talking about the protests. We're talking about what's happening. I mean, is there a future for hunting? There just totally is a future for legal hunting that we um, partake in. There's, you know, on Boxing Day, for example, a quarter of a million people turn out to support it. You know, that's a huge number of people that think it's a perfectly legitimate activity. There's, you know, there's no reason why people can't go out in the countryside, enjoy riding their horses or following on foot, following the hounds. What, you know, give me a perfectly good reason why that isn't something for the 21st century. Holly Portwin there from the Countryside Alliance. So I asked Cathy then from the West Midlands Saboteurs with both different conflicting views there. What are the Sabs going to do next? If the Aberston, as they're claiming, they're saying they're going to be back next year, then we will be back next year uh, attending every single meet of the Aberston like we have before. What we will now do is that there are obviously lots of hunts in the country. Keep on going out there. Keep on exposing what's happening and keep on saving lives through direct action.